So you've taken the old anode off and as you can see this anode is uh, is pretty diminished uh, and has done what it's supposed to do. Ideally you should take an anode off when it's reduced by about 50% of its original build. So that's what it looked like when it was new and that's what it looks like after two years in the water. So we're replacing the old anode with an MG Duff anode. And MG Duff is a name that most of us associate with anodes. They've been around since the 1950s. They've got a great reputation for quality. They meet all the very stringent US um, military specs. They batch, quant uh, they batch test each melt to make sure it's got the right mix of alloys. Uh, so we're going with MG Duff on this installation. So why do we need anodes? Um, basically anodes provide protection of metals that are in the water. For, for example, uh, your propeller, your shaft, any um, skin fittings you've got in the boat. So they protect those, but they do need to be connected to those, um, to those metals that you're trying to, to protect. So the anode halts the corrosion of the metallic parts by uh, acting as a more reactive cell and the anode would corrode rather than the metals that it's connected to. So anodes come in different materials. This is a zinc anode, so zinc is good for salt water. Aluminium anodes are good for brackish and magnesium anodes are good for fresh water. So when you're choosing a location of an anode, this one we've taken away from um, this point here but when you're choosing a location if you're putting a new anode on a hull you go somewhere close to where uh, you have the metalwork that you're protecting and other things to consider don't put it in front of a paddle wheel so you don't want to disrupt the flow of a of the water over the in front of a paddle wheel um, make sure that the fixing stud is not sitting in the in the bilges so somewhere on a sort of angle uh, higher up the hull and um, just make sure you've got clearance the other side to be able to get a spanner on the end to be able to fix uh, the stud in place. So for the anode to be effective you need to bond the anode to the metalwork you're protecting such as the shaft and to uh, the skin fittings and bonding by bonding I mean it's uh, connecting via a wire and ideally you're using four millimeter square wire, copper multi-strand wire. And for skin fittings, you can use a bonding ring such as this, and different, uh, available in different diameters. And for the shaft, ideally you would use something called an electro eliminator. And this basically is a set of brushes that sits on the shaft and that's also bonded to the anode ju just means that you've got the best possible lowest resistant path from the shaft to your anode. So this is a ZD56 kit. It comes with a backing pad. Now the backing pad stops the uh, the corrosion of the anode from affecting the hull, protects the hull. It comes with a, a star washer and a fixing nut. And this is really great for protecting props and shafts up to about 250 millimeters in diameter of, of the propeller. And, um, that's what we took off this boat, so we're replacing like for like. So we've already got a hole drilled in the hull here, and we're putting a new stud because the old one is pretty corroded, um, and we can't get the nut off, so we're using a new stud. So we're using Sikaflex 291i as a, a sealant, so you apply a generous bead around where the stud goes into the hull, and up the shaft of the stud a little bit. 
to seal seal the hole once it's in. Now we've got the stud firmly in place. There's plenty of Sikaflex coming out around the outside of the stud. I'm going to hold it in place with some masking tape. So we've fixed the stud on the inside now. So all that's left is to put the anode on with the backing pad. So star washer on first, or the fan washer as they call it. Now the anode's in place. 